Today on Factspace, we are looking at the world's worst natural disasters. Mother Nature is an exciting and unpredictable force, and while you may be used to the wonders of your typical weather cycles, there's nothing expected about a natural disaster. Every year, everything from disastrous avalanches to destructive hurricanes sweep across the world, tearing apart cities and taking people's lives with the sheer force of the elements. Today, we're taking a closer look at some of the most cataclysmic disasters that have ever happened. More Tornado Oklahoma has had its fair share of tornadoes, but in 2013, the city of Moore was devastated by an aggressively strong twister that made a name for itself as one of the worst tornadoes of all time. Massive tornado here. You're seeing from Bob Mills, Sky News 9, we got power flashes. It's in a heavily, it's in a heavily uh, populated area right now, Gary. And look at the look at the turning motion. As oh, there's a huge flash right there. It is, it is just ripping up everything in its path. Over 200 people were injured as the cyclone ravaged the town at speeds of up to 210 miles per hour, with 24 confirmed deaths by the time the storm had finally passed after 37 minutes of disaster. Dalatpur Satoria tornado. On April 26, 1989, Bangladesh was hit with the worst tornado in the country's history, both in terms of its casualties and its cost. In addition to 1.5 million US dollars worth of damage, there were roughly 12,000 people injured and around 1,300 deaths. However, because of the wreckage caused by the cyclone, the toll couldn't be determined for certain. A drought had been affecting the area where the twister hit six months prior, potentially creating conditions that made the destructive tornado possible and ultimately took hundreds of lives. Sulawesi 2018 was an unfortunate year for Sulawesi, an island in Indonesia, when it was struck by a 7.5 earthquake and a series of powerful aftershocks. While a tsunami alert was initially authorized, it was claimed that nothing would happen until that same natural disaster struck and claimed the lives of over 2,000 people. In the aftermath, many buildings were damaged, specifically due to the instability caused by the quake and the flooding from the tsunami causing foundations to soften and crumble, leading to a huge mess for Sulawesi. Java and Sumatra Indonesia had quite the year in 2018 when two other islands, Java and Sumatra, faced a devastating landslide brought on by an underwater volcanic eruption. Not only was plenty of damage done, with a final death toll of 426 and 7,202 injured people, but it was also recognized that the island's methods of detecting tsunamis had been inactive for six years. Nonetheless, this scary disaster duo helped close out the year for Indonesia in a negative way. Hurricane Emily Hurricanes are unpredictable forces of nature, and while we can't always tell when or how hard they'll hit, we do have a categorized scale from 1 to 5 to determine their intensity before and after. Hurricane Emily was a Category 5 that caused a ton of damage along the Caribbean Sea to Mexico. Over 1 billion US dollars in damages was the result of the catastrophic hurricane, which also took the lives of 17 people when it swept through the Atlantic Ocean in 2005. Our Mero Tragedy Nevado del Ruiz is a volcano in Tolima, Colombia that had previously been inactive for almost 70 years before it unexpectedly blew on November 13, 1985. The result of this was the Armero tragedy. 25,000 people lost their lives to a mudslide after the eruption, 
which was caused by glaciers melting and forming a muddy lahar flow. Over half of our Mero Columbia lost their lives that day, and the aftermath was tragic to get through given the dangerous environment that the volcanic mudslide presented. Indian Monsoon In mid-2013, about 5,748 people lost their lives to a dangerous mud flow and flash flood that swept through the state of Uttarkhand, India. It was the largest weather disaster of that year, leading to about 80,000 citizens evacuating the area. Search and rescue officials were forced to navigate treacherous pathing through destroyed mountain slides in the aftermath of the emergent event, with a rescue helicopter even crashing and killing eight people during retrieval and only adding more misery to an already terrible time. Yellow River Floods The Yellow River is believed to be the most dangerous river on Earth, where it stretches almost 3,500 miles in western China. It earned this unofficial title based off of a terrible flood that occurred on September 28, 1887, among other cataclysmic events. Over 900,000 people were killed when it flooded, making it one of the most fatal natural disasters in history. Not long after, the same area was struck by famine and disease that would take as many lives as the flood had, doubling the death toll to around 2 million in a very short span of time. Ancash Huascaran In 1970, the north wall of Mount Huascaran in a city in Peru was shaken by an earthquake that caused the worst avalanche in history. The snow swept down the mountainside at over 100 miles per hour, devastating the two towns below it, Ranrarica and Yunge. The avalanche was so catastrophic that it coated them in 300 feet of rocks and debris. This terrifying combination of calamities resulted in the deadliest avalanche ever recorded by mankind, killing up to 70,000 people in the process. Gayari Military Base In April 2012, an avalanche in Pakistan claimed 138 victims. It all happened so quickly that only a few people were able to escape the disaster, but among those that died included civilian employees and soldiers from the North Light Battalion. The large number of deaths and the severity of the natural disaster caught the attention of the Indian and Pakistani governments, prompting them to solve the Siachen conflict a military dispute that had been claiming lives since 1984. Hayuan Flows In 1920, a major landslide happened in China, claiming over 100,000 lives and truly showing off Mother Nature's grand potential. The slide was prompted by an earthquake, and at the epicenter was Hayuan County, presently known as the Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region. Between there and neighboring provinces, a devastating amount of the population was lost, and one of the landslides even buried an entire village in the process. Mount Tambora Mount Tambora is one of many active volcanoes in Indonesia, and in 1815 it erupted into one of the earliest and deadliest explosions in human history. The cataclysmic event took the lives of roughly 90,000 people, additionally spreading disease and damage to the nearby areas. What makes this natural disaster especially devastating, though, is how severe and widespread its devastation occurred. Not only did Mount Tambora contribute to a new strain of the illness cholera, but it also affected the entire climate for three years, proving that Mother Nature doesn't mess around when it comes to how colossally it can affect the world. Mount Merapi Merapi has been one of the most active volcanic mountains in Indonesia. Found on the border of the Yogyakarta and Java provinces, the volcano has been regularly erupting, but in 2010, things really began to move. The government was forced to issue a warning to everyone who lived close to the mountain to find safety, because the ground below them experienced seismic activities that stretched on for months. In that year alone, hundreds died from how frequently the mountain would erupt, and to this day, it continues to be dangerously active. Tohoku Earthquake and Tsunami the Great East Japan Earthquake of 2011 was a nine-magnitude shaker that became known as Japan's strongest quake in history. As if the damage from the massive earthquake wasn't enough, it generated tsunami waves that reached heights of 133 feet and completely demolished parts of Japan. The result of this was that hundreds of thousands of buildings collapsed in full or partially, nuclear reactors exploded, and almost 16,000 people were killed not to mention the thousands of injured and hundreds of thousands who were displaced in the years following. The tragic disaster totaled 360 billion US dollars in damages, and even seven years later, remains as one of Japan's most terrible memories.
9.5 magnitude. In 1960, Chile suffered through the worst earthquake known to man, a quake so destructive that it was comparable to 1,000 atomic bombs dropping at the same time. Well, the seismic shock that triggered a week of devastating earthquakes and volcanic eruptions in Chile and tidal waves and tropical storms that battered every shore from the Philippines and Japan to Alaska. It could be felt all the way from Hawaii to Valdivia, a distance of about 435 miles. 6,000 people were killed in the 9.5 magnitude quake, and over $1 billion in damages were sustained and accounted for after sifting through the destruction of this natural disaster. 7.8 magnitude. Any size earthquake can be scary as the once stable ground beneath your feet begins to tremble. But in 2018, the people of Ecuador were faced with a 7.8 magnitude quake that shook everywhere from Quito, the capital, to cities with barely any people. Over 16,000 were injured and nearly 700 died in the catastrophic event that also wiped out entire portions of towns and forced the president to dispatch military officers in a state of emergency. Over 26,000 survivors struggled in the aftermath as personnel had trouble reaching them through all of the destruction and it took billions of dollars to repair what had been lost and broken.